Good evening, I'm Jerry Hayes. And I'm Siobhan Bryan. Thanks for joining us for News 19 at 6. A momentum is building for COVID-19 vaccinations across Alabama with thousands inoculated just this week in Huntsville. So far, more than 581,000 people have been vaccinated in Alabama. About 90% of all vaccines administered in the state have been given just in the last three weeks. And with more and more people getting inoculated, both Moderna and Pfizer have reported there is a noticeable difference in reaction to the doses. News 19's Joe Kadatz met with health experts and joins us now live with what kinds of symptoms to expect after taking that shot. Joe? An infectious disease expert at Huntsville Hospital tells me that symptoms from the side effects of the COVID-19 vaccines are very similar to the common flu shot, but are a little bit more pronounced and more severe in their symptoms. And the second shot can be a little bit more severe than the first. That said, though, health experts tell me that most symptoms are gone within 24 to 72 hours. And more than half of the people who take the COVID-19 vaccine experience little to no symptoms at all. You can see some nausea, vomiting, um, but it's really, these are not as common as the aching and the pain and stuff like that. Dr. Ali Hassoun says about 40% of people who get their COVID-19 shots will experience soreness. Less than 10% will develop fever-like symptoms and about 3% could experience vomiting. Severe allergic reactions, which medical staff watch after a person gets inoculated, is less than 1%, he says. The hives and the severe allergic reaction is much less than that. It's like 0 0.001. Hassoun says overall the side effects are minor and more and more people are getting comfortable with taking the vaccine as they become aware of what to expect. People have friends, family got the shots and they know what they experience. There's more acceptance to do the shot because the safety is um, really pretty good and the side effect is considered low. Hassoun says COVID-19 side effects are not long term. The potential pain from these side effects, he says, far outweigh the risks of contracting COVID-19. 520,000 uh, people who got the two shots with Pfizer, none died. In compared to people who didn't get vaccinated, there was numbers who died. So efficacy has been shown it's effective safety is there and it's important to do it for the community. Dr. Hassoun says some over-the-counter medications should be avoided like aspirin and Tylenol before you take the shot. If you experience any fever-like symptoms or cold-like symptoms at all after you take the COVID-19 vaccine though, he says those same types of medications are totally fine to take afterwards. And some health people just walked out of the mass vaccination clinic here at John Hunt Park right before I went live here and told me that today they had 2,021 shots exactly just like the year. In Huntsville, Joe Kudat, News 19.